Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. This is an update for my 3D tiles project. Um, sorry it's been a while since my last video, but I've been ever so slightly busy. I've got tiles here in various stages of construction. As you can see, that's for the Lonely Crypt. Um, oh, what else have we got? Um, we've got the one for that one, which is her. And we have things like that, which are the waste in painting. What I want to show you is a few of the ones that I've already done. Um, this corridor tile. The way the um, you can see that the way the hot glue has gone, it looks as though there's a bone there, so I've painted that as a different colour to make it look like a bone. Um, what else have we got? We've got this one, which is the rotting nook. You see, that looks absolutely horrible, <laughs> doesn't it? Again, it looks as though a few bones in there, so I've done that accordingly. That does look as though it is rotting. I know the base <laughs> is a bit rotty. I uh, had a little bit of an accident. Um, I'm going to have to go over these and uh, with a bit of glue. But, um, yeah, quite happy with the way it's turned out and it's warped a little bit. What's happened is uh, I've added not my water pot and all my blooming tiles off the table one day last week um, and uh, could have been a bit could have been a lot worse than it is but there's only a couple that's been affected like that um, right next we have this one now as you can see I've not done the uh, tile effect here there's a good reason for that because this is the crypt of Artemis and the crypt boards and I'll show you on this this one's the lonely crypt the crypt boards has a coffin on it and that's left plain so I can, it's not a coffin it's a tomb so I can put a tomb down and that's the tomb. Whether you can see that properly. There's the casket. And that will fit in the corner. That way so um, figures can, if they so wish, stand on top of the casket. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know, but hey, that's the way it works. I've done it removable, so I can place place them down as and when. Now, how do I get to make one of those? It's quite simple. You start off, and I'm not going to treat anybody like an idiot by showing you exactly how I mark everything out. Let me just tilt the camera down to touch because, oops. Because the way I want to work is uh, I need it pointing down a bit more. Okay, so we get our little piece of cardboard. It is done, it is measured out two inch by one inch. We've done the same for the foam core. Two pieces of foam core and we've stuck them together. Okay, so, then what I do, I will mark off the halfway point and draw a line. I will then mark off on each, I will then mark off one and a quarter inch 
on each side and draw a line. So we've got a cross as you can possibly hopefully see. Next I will go hopefully you can see this a quarter of an inch and mark off the very top either side of the top of the line. You can see there. Next I will do the same at the bottom. So that's again is quarter of an inch either side of the line at the bottom. That's what we can see there. Quarter of an inch mark there, quarter of an inch mark there. Next from the line from the to the not from the line we draw a line from there to there the same at the top turn it round and do exactly the same again and finally Obviously you can do these marks any way you wish. You don't actually have to do them these measurements. This is the one I'm mainly using. So you've got your tomb shape there. And then all we do is cut it out. So we end up with or you basically cut it out and then glue it onto your piece of cardboard. So obviously you'd cut that, cut that corner off, cut that corner off, cut that corner off, and that corner off, glue it onto your piece of cardboard, and it looks something like that. Doesn't matter if you get any rough edges, because then you plaster over it with your um, pumice well, that's, I'm saying you plaster over it with your pumice I will plaster over it with the pumice if you have something different to use you can do um, you use pumice you could mix a bit of white glue with sand and do it that way Um it's all how you want to do it if you're going to do something like this. I say I'm not showing you how to do it, I'm showing you how I'm doing it. There may be different ways, there may be better ways of achieving the same results, but this is the way I want to do it. So we we'll cut out the, let's say the rough coffin shape. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Hope you can see that. There we are. Ta-da! And then. We get our wood glue, PVA glue, whatever you want to call it. This is all the same stuff. And we get our brush. And guess what we do? We dip the brush into the PVA. And we spread it along the back of the... Um, of the coffin. Now the reason I'm doing it on the side what we've marked off rather than doing it on that side is because the top of the coffin is going to be um, plain. So let's have a get our piece of cardboard we've glued the side with the markings on and we place it down onto the cardboard.
it on it for a couple of seconds. Um, what I've done then is, as I say, gone over around the edges and on the cardboard with the pumice. And after that, I've got, I've grabbed a couple of thin sprues here. Um, I've been building a Tomb King's army from Warhammer, for, from Warhammer Fantasy. And in these, you get some, oops, you get some skulls. You can see there. And what I do is I break them off the... I'm doing this off camera because I'm using the knife because I can't put my hands on the clippers at the moment. I just separate the... I've just seen them now, so... I separate the skull from its sprue. And on the back of the skull just to flatten it off a touch hope you can see that we just cut the back of its head off so that we'll lie flat and then with our hot glue gun we put a dollop of hot glue on there and place that on. Once it's done, and once it's all dry, I say we cover it in pumice. Once that's dry, we do the same as we've done with the rest of it. Paint it black, then shadow grey, um, fortress grey. Sorry, shadow grey, then codex grey, then fortress grey. And just to differentiate between the floor and the, the side of the coffin. I've done that one covered over with um, a screaming skull. I've done this highlighted with white, the same on the top. Then I'll give the coffin, the tomb, sarcophagus, whatever you want to call it, the um, a wash with the non oil. Once that's dry, I've just gone and dry brushed over with white just to give it that streaky effect and make it look like weathered um, stone and that's your tomb and it fits in rather nicely into the corner like so even more so like that um, I've got another one here, oops, which is Prince Oral Script, and the the coffin sits in that way. Made a slight boo boo with that one. That's slightly too big, so I'm going to have to try and make a slightly smaller one to fit in, or get rid of, or try and chip away some of these stones. But that's what we've got so far. Um, as far as pieces go, I'm going to just put that skull to one side for the time being because I don't want to run the risk of losing that. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 um, built and painted. I've got a further 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sorry, 18, 19 built and painted. I've got a further 5 that's been fully constructed and is waiting painting. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that's personally constructed, which is the ones I showed you earlier, which are just the pieces glued down onto the card. And one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven more to build. So that's how far we've got with the um, 3D tiles for Castle Ravenloft. Um, obviously with having no more videos we've done nothing at all with the uh, Dungeon Command. I've been a bit too busy with these tiles at the moment so please forgive me for that. I will be hopefully be remedying it shortly because I'm getting fed up with doing these tiles. Um, one thing I will show you while I'm here is that there are some that just have a very small square that's put out as a wall. Um, ah, there's another one I want to show you as well. Okay, so I'll shift these and I'll show you what I've done. There are the odd ones that on the tile will have a corner like that where it's blacked out. This isn't the one I'm showing you, this is just one, just giving you an idea of those. What I've done for that is I've actually done the walls all the way around. I just think it looks better in a situation like that than doing like a, the wall like this. Um, it looks better, it's a pain in the neck to do, but I think it, it looks a lot better than keeping it open. Um, so that's one of the things I wanted to show you. The other thing is the, the arcane circle. I was puzzling at this. The original tile is that. Um, it's got like a blue glowing circle with strange little... <coughs> Sorry about that, somebody wants to come in. <laughs> right, so we've got the arcane circle tile. And it's like a glowing circle with strange symbols in the middle of it. I've done it slightly different. That's what I've done. As you can see, it's it's a circle, but around the edge, I don't know whether you can pick it out there. There are the strange symbols running around the edges. They're not very um, prominent, but they are visible in certain lights. Oops. I'm quite impressed with the way that's turned out. But as I said, I prefer these for the long stretches and doing make on the way around for the small ones because these I suppose could act as pillars as well as ends of walls so we could have it sort of just it up like that to show it's a, like a dead end or like that it will be, be pillars rather than an actual uh, wall so as I said that's where we've got so far with our models Oh, sorry, I've got 3D tiles. I um, hope you'll forgive the, uh, the time it's taken me to post these. But as I said, I've been busy, I've been really preoccupied with doing these. Um, I wanted to get them done as quick as I can so I can actually do a gameplay video doing them. And um, yeah, it's, it's been a fun project. It's been fun, it's been time consuming, it's been very frustrating and quite painful to be brutally honest, but uh, <laughs> I've, en I've enjoyed it. Um, it's one of those things, I've, I've done it once, whether I do it for each of the uh, games I don't know. Um, I'll have to wait for a while before I even attempt to do so. But, it's, uh, it's there, I think it's going to look good when I've finished and uh, hopefully you'll agree. And uh, I'm going to have a break from doing these tiles now because I'm really getting sick of them. I'm going to have a break from doing them and then uh, we'll be doing a painting video for the next one for the Dungeon Command. And um, until then, take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>